When it comes to autonomous nodes, BotPress has just recently redone the entirety of the variable management experience, and I think the new system is pretty slick. Join me as we explain the changes and talk about what you need to know about your existing legacy bots. Let's dive in. All right, welcome back to the BotPress studio. And in front of us, we have a simple autonomous node, one of the most powerful pieces of bot building in BotPress. Now, to explain the new system of variable management, I think we need to start by explaining how the old system worked. And when it came to autonomous nodes uh, just a week ago in BotPress, they inherently had access to all your variable information within scope. So what that means is that this autonomous node here within our workflow, you notice here on the left, this workflow has a lot of variables, arguably too many variables, but inherently every autonomous node within this workflow would just know all of this information, all these workflow variables. And that's obviously pretty useful. If I wanted to ask about the ingredients list, it would know the ingredients list because it was fed the ingredients list variable. Autonomous nodes just kind of knew all the variables going on behind the scene. Now, in some ways, obviously that's great, but in other ways, you end up feeding too much information or more accurately, extra information to your autonomous node that wasn't necessary all the time. Out of all these variables, a lot of these variables weren't necessary to be feeding to every autonomous node call within this workflow. And the more information we send to our autonomous node, the more it has to work with, the slower it is to respond, the more AI spend. It was in your best interest to manage which variables are being accessed by every autonomous node. And the way that it used to work back in the day, inherently it had access to everything. And if you wanted to limit which variables were accessed by autonomous node, you had to opt those variables out. The way you did that, classically, if you clicked on a variable, uh, there used to be a little switch here, a little flag. It's not here anymore because things have changed. I'll be able to show a screenshot, I hope, in which you had a flag called secret. And if you marked a certain variable as a secret variable, that variable would not be accessed by autonomous nodes. So that's how it used to work. Every autonomous node inherently had access to all your variables unless you marked a variable as secret. And it was your job to figure out which variables were required to send to autonomous nodes and which ones should be secret so you can minimize the amount of information that's being sent to every autonomous node so you're not sending too much information. The way I set this bot up, none of these are secrets. So I'm sending all the information all the time and that's just not a good way to do things. And luckily, with the new variable management system, that won't be happening at all again. We are moving from what was an opt out system in which you could highlight and say this variable should not be seen by an autonomous node to an opt in system that is just so much more elegant and so much easier to use. Let's show you how that works. Let's build a new autonomous node. So I'm going to create a new autonomous node. I'm not going to add any instructions, but you'll notice that if I click on this autonomous node in the inspector on the right, there's now a section in which you can add variables. And this works exactly like you might imagine. Whatever I pick here, these will exclusively be the variables that this node will have access to. So if this node needs to know our recipe choice, I have now just added that and all the other variables it will not have access to. Say we want to add something else, the ingredients to use. This is now how it works. You have to choose which variables each node will have access to and everything else will be as if it was secret. Also on the right here, you see there's this also write access button. If you select this, the autonomous node will have the ability to write as well to overwrite that variable's uh, data. And if you don't select it, it'll only be read only, which is the default it comes in on. That's all it is. That is the change. And it's so much more elegant. So you're no longer going to be feeding excess extraneous information unless you're really strict about using that secret flag. And every individual autonomous node, you can choose which information that node gets access to. So you're managing and you're not oversending information and oversharing. Things will just run smoother and better. And overall, this is just such a great change. Now, quickly, I do want to address what happens to legacy nodes. So say that you made a BotPress bot a week ago before this change. What happens to the autonomous nodes? And the simplest answer is they work exactly like they did a week ago. There is no difference. You'll see no a change in function. And how that happened is basically this autonomous node, which classically, because I did not use the secret flag a week ago, this back in the day had access to everything. Because again, I didn't opt out any variables. So if I click on this autonomous node, you'll notice it just has variable access to all of the variables within scope, which are all my workflow variables. So existing legacy autonomous nodes will just basically be granted full access to everything as long as there wasn't a secret variable. If there was a secret variable, it would not be added here, but all the variables that weren't secret that it had access to a week ago will just automatically be added to that autonomous node. So in short, it will be acting exactly like expected, like it did a week ago. It's just now represented like this. With that in mind, I would highly recommend taking a couple minutes and opening up some legacy bots, opening up the autonomous nodes, 
and going through the list of variables that have access to and take some time and clean out the stuff that it does truly not need access to. This crashing out Boolean I used for testing does not need to be here. The more that I cut access to variables here and functionally use secret flags like I should have a week ago, the faster your bot will be, the more accurate it will minimize AI spend. It is just something you should be doing. So please, if you can take a couple minutes to go back and check out your old autonomous nodes, you might as well clean it up. It's easier to do than it ever has been. But again, no old bots will be working exactly like you intended. But going forward, this is the new system. It's not an opt out system for variable management. It's now an opt in system, which I think is just a ton better. That's the new change. It just dropped early this week. So shout out to all the engineers behind the scenes, but just a much more simple way for variable management with autonomous nodes. If you want to dive into more interesting topics, Ben just published a video talking about saving user preferences into bots, should be linked here. And if you want to join our online community of bot builders, the BotPress Discord server is linked just below. And most importantly, happy bot building.